I've been living in this village for a very long time. Well, I've been passing here through fountain and so forth. Go catch count. I know this volcano very small. Well, now I come and I see what you happen to it now. Big thick trees cover down. This. Right now you're watching the mud bubbling up. The water. You already know what's going on. Right. Well, they say this, uh, this volcano, you never, you never know it to Europe, eh? No. Well, you never know it to Europe yet. And how long you will live in here? A good little bit, uh, 35 years. 35 years. And in 35 years, you, 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 but you know this as a small volcano? From here, 15 years, I come up here. Okay. Right now, there is holes that bubbling slightly. There is water that is bubbling slightly. And it do a lot of destruction by the trees, the forest trees. The, if you watch in the background, you will see the trees that damage. It have places that crack and just, you know, looking erosion and all those sort of things going on. Now we see in three mouths of the volcano, you, because of the different color lava that coming up, you could see the three holes. There may be more inside, but far as we could see as the dirt is soft, we cannot walk in further. But from here where we stand, we see three mountains of it, right? And it, well, it's an impact of the, the tick on the forest tree to uh, deter a certain stand. Things that we call a natural disaster. Nobody can't do anything about causing this. And that is something that must be known in Trinidad and Tobago. Whenever there is an eruption like this, it's really a natural disaster. You can't take precaution for a thing like this. What you could do is take effective, um, effective action after to see if any damage and so on that you could solve. This is a natural disaster that was impended and it actually was, it came to, it came to being. And right now we really as a people have to accept it and try our best to see what we can do if anybody is being affected by it. One of the things I know it could cause here is um, probably a, a people could come and look at the natural disaster. This is in Pascal. What road is this? Colonzo. Colonzo. This is in Colonzo. Tabakit Road. On the Tabakit Road. Uh, um, people could look at this and recognize that we have seen this is a sort of a natural disaster take place in Trinidad and Tobago. Although it appears to be small. And you could take a visit down. It is not um, too far from the main road. Um, people could come in and the people could have access to it. And they, you will come and actually see a natural disaster. There are lots of things that happen in Trinidad and Tobago, and not only in Trinidad and Tobago, throughout the, the, the world that we call natural disasters. We have certain things like earthquakes um, that kills thousands of people, right? And things like that. We have hurricanes. But what we have here, this didn't kill anybody, but this is a good sight to see the, 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 the really effects of what natural things could be. So people want to take a little view and see what is happening, get into Colonzo Road and actually see something, right? There you'll be meeting Rodney up on the end there, right? He will be living, he living on this area here and he will be on the site. So, that is it. Okay, the, when we're dealing with a mud volcano, and the, the mud gets soft, actually soft down below, and it comes out under pressure. It comes out in a liquid format and brings up a lot of mud. Now the mud is more small, that's why you find the mud becomes sort of a, like a piece. And when it comes on the surface of the solid land, it actually spreads out and actually tries to form its own level, like water, how water normally forms its own level. This thing is about 80% 80, 80 water when it actually comes out, 80 or more, and it actually tries to form its own level. This is the reason why we are having this type of 
flat surface here. And we recognize that wherever this, vol this volcano has erupted from, it would be coming from and is bringing up a lot of water other than solids. And it's finding its own level, as we say, at this point in time. And more, the solid, more it solidify, is more level it becomes. Because the water is extracted from it. This volcano is located on a hill. It's a sort of a hill area. A hilly area. There are sm small tributaries that are circular. <laughs> seen a lot of palmish and so on that has actually um, fallen. These palmish, like why we might be feeling that um, problems might be having, um, it is creating problems. What you normally see that this will create habitat for probably when the palmish die. If the palmish stay standing, the parrots actually normally live in that in the in the um, area. <laughs> You talk. Yeah, I thought it's when we noticed that this water has been bubbling constantly, non stop. I don't know if it's a cause of erosion again. I think I'll drop again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,